Graduates and guests, our ceremony will begin in five minutes. Please find your seats at this time. And from the outfield tunnel, here comes the Angels Strike Force. They will be launching CSULB t-shirts into the stands. Catch them if you can. Family and friends, the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics is pleased to present this year's candidates for graduation. Led by co-grand marshals, Dr. Laura Enriquez, professor of the Department of Science Education, and Dr. Chu Hee Kwan, professor emerita of the Department of Physics and Astronomy. The graduates are guided by faculty marshals and other members of our faculty. Please welcome our graduates as they begin their procession into the stadium by college department. Each graduate will have the opportunity to be featured on the Stadium Jumbotron.
master's candidates in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Master's candidates in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. The Department of Biological Sciences. The Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. The Program of Environmental Science and Policy.
the Department of Geological Sciences. the Department of Mathematics and Statistics.
the Department of Physics and Astronomy. the Department of Science Education.
graduates and guests. Joining us today to recognize and honor our graduating class of 2022 from the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics at California State University, Long Beach, our distinguished guests and leaders from our college and university, led by co-grand marshals, Dr. Laura Enriquez, Professor of the Department of Science Education, and Dr. Chu He Kwan, Professor Emerita of the Department of Physics and Astronomy. Donna Green, Assistant Vice President, Enrollment Services. Jeet Joshi, Associate Vice President, International Education and Global Engagement. Carrie Johnson, Associate Vice President, Undergraduate Studies. Simon Kim, Associate Vice President, Research and Economic Development. Jody Cormack, Vice Provost and Dean of Graduate Studies. Dipali Bandari, CNSM Equity Advisor and Professor, Chemistry and Biochemistry. Margaret Merrifield, CNSM Equity Advisor and Professor Emeritus, Chemistry and Biochemistry. Sierra Breyer, Student Speaker and 2022 President of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics Student Council. Babette Benken, Director, CNSM's Graduate Studies. Vasanthi Narayanaswamy, Chair, College Faculty Council. Lisa Martin, Chair, Department of Science Education. Andreas Bill, Chair, Department of Physics and Astronomy. Will Murray, Chair, Department of Mathematics and Statistics. Laura Stevens, Chair, Department of Geological Sciences. Li Zhuan Li, Chair, Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Desi Underwood, Chair, Department of Biological Sciences. Krzysztof Slowinski, Associate Dean for Academic Programs, Evaluation and Advising. Barbara Taylor, Associate Dean for Research. Curtis Bennett, Richard D. Green, Dean of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Kurt Brower, President, CS Will Be Alumni Council. Jesus Gonzalez, President, Associated Students Incorporated. Neil Holtgren, Chair, CS Will Be Academic Senate. Michael Berman, Chief Information Officer, California State University. Chris Fowler, Chief of Staff. Andy Fee, Director of Athletics. Min Yao, Vice President, Information Technology. Jeff Cook, Interim Vice President, University Relations and Development. Scott Appel, Vice President, Administration and Finance. Beth Lesson, Vice President, Student Affairs. Karen Sism Gunn, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. President Jane Close Connolly. Lillian Kimball, Chair of the California University, California State University Board of Trustees. After a campus-wide contest in 2018, the university adopted a new alma mater with lyrics by Christian Valdez and music by Kyle Gabriel, composed when both were students in the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music. Performing it this afternoon is Natalie Gonzalez, a 2021 graduate of the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music. Please stand if you are able as we play the alma mater.
welcome. We are proud to celebrate you, Class of 2022, and the achievements that have brought us together today. I am pleased to introduce to you Curtis Bennett, the Richard D. D. Green Dean of the College of the Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Good afternoon. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, I welcome you, the class of 2022, to the 73rd commencement exercises of California State University, Long Beach. <clears throat> An important note about our location. Our campus, CSULB, was built on the Tongva village of Pavanga, a site sacred to the Tongva Gabrieleno Achachaman people. Here today in Angel Stadium, we recognize that this geographical location known as the Los Angeles Basin is part of the community of these first peoples who have lived and continue to live here. We respect and value the many ways the Tongva Achachaman cultural heritage and beliefs continue to have significance to the living people and remind us about the sacred and spiritual relationship that has always existed at what we now call California State University Long Beach. Wherever we stand, we are standing on indigenous land. We thank these nations for their strength, perseverance, and resistance. At this point, I ask all of you to join me in a moment of silence. We are here to celebrate today, and at the same time, some of you are here with heavy hearts, for within this past week, we are once again confronted with yet more race-targeted violence. The shootings in Buffalo, New York, were a deliberate attack on the black community caused by the systemic racism in this country. The shooting in Laguna Woods was an attack on the Asian community. The loss in these communities is a harm to all of us, and for that we pause. Students, honored guests, faculty, and staff, it is my very great pleasure to be sharing this moment with you today. Class of 2022, thy name is Resilience. In the fall of 2018, I had the great pleasure to team teach a section of the freshman class NSCI 190 with Valerie Bagley, a class some of today's graduates took. In that class, the students wrote essays about the struggles they had overcome. Those essays told of the incredible strength and resilience that all of you bring when you come to CSULB. At the time, I thought, our students have so much strength, so much resilience. Little did I know how much that strength and resilience would be tested over the next four years. I dubbed this class the resilient. You've been through the ringer. Since the spring of 2020, it has been a roller coaster ride. Then this semester, we finally came back to campus more fully, but still things weren't back to normal. Through this all, you persevered. Through this all, you reached down within yourselves and found strength and resilience, not only to weather the challenges of the pandemic and classes throughout you, but to thrive. Through this all, you showed what it is to be a student at the beach. Through this all, you have shown an ability to succeed even when the rug is pulled out from under you. Graduates, you have persevered and conquered new ways of learning. You have persevered and conquered new ways of communicating. Graduates, 
you are not only ready for the challenges ahead, but you will face them with the knowledge that you have overcome the unthinkable to earn a degree in science and mathematics. While we are all here today at Angel Stadium, I have to say, graduates, you hit this out of the park. Congratulations. <laughs> Celebrating with you today are those who helped you persevere and face those challenges. Your fellow students, your family members here with you, all the many watching courtesy of the worldwide live stream technology, your friends, and the faculty of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. This has been your team, and players are most successful with the support of their team. Students, I ask you to take a moment to think of someone who has helped you get where you are today, and give them your applause. <clears throat> Zooming into school brought many challenges, but this year's hybrid model had complications of its own. Students were back in the labs, lecture rooms, and hallways. Seeing our buildings and campus bustling with life again was invigorating. It was a much needed breath of fresh air, but it meant more adjustments. Reacquainting yourselves with commutes and busy passing periods and rushing to class wasn't easy. But with the help and support of faculty, friends, and chosen family, you all managed. I sit in awe as I watch you all thrive, and I know nothing can stand in your way. Should you struggle in the future, remember these triumphs and let them give you the confidence to overcome whatever challenges you face. Success in sciences and mathematics depends on communication with others seeing mistakes as an opportunity to learn, testing your ideas, and an openness to having your understandings turned upside down when the data or a proof requires. These same skills are essential in life. In the last few years, we have seen problems arise that we never thought were possible. But science and mathematics helped find solution to these problems. You are well equipped to find solutions to the problems we face today and tomorrow. You are our future. Society's continued success depends on you, and we charge you to use this education to be effective citizens, scientists, and mathematicians. We look to you, graduating class of 2022, to build a brighter future, to make a better world for all, and to pay forward all the positive experiences you have had at the beach. We charge you to use this education to be effective scientists and mathematicians and bring forward the beach spirit. All the faculty and staff in the college contribute greatly to what the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics is today. At this time, I'm going to recognize the contributions of our two co-grand marshals, Laura Enriquez of Science Education and Chewy Kwan from Physics and Astronomy. The college is deeply indebted to both Dr. Henriquez and Dr. Kwan for their contributions through their teaching, research, and service. I will start with Dr. Henriquez. But before I go any further, I have a question for you graduates, your families, and your friends. Did you go to Young Scientist Camp? How many of you have attended or had a family member attend? I suspect some of you here today may have attended this camp. Since the year 2000, more than 3,400 campers in second through eighth grade have attended our Young Scientist Camp. As the camp director, Dr. Enriquez has helped to connect thousands of youths from all backgrounds to science and open doors through scientific inquiry to further study. Since she started in CSULB in 1997, Dr. Enriquez's leadership has been instrumental in improving science instruction. 
Her teaching, advising, and research has benefited not only our future teachers while they were here on campus, but also the students they have taught throughout the state of California. In addition to personally connecting students with science, Dr. Henriquez has also been instrumental at the state level, as she has assisted with implementing the new standards for science teaching with equity and inclusivity. For her work, Dr. Henriquez was recognized by the California Association of Science Education with the 2021 Margaret Nicholson Distinguished Service Award for truly making a positive impact on the quality of science teaching. In 2020, Dr. Henriquez was also named a Fellow of the American Physical Society for her significant contributions to PhysTech as a site lead, architect of a regional network, national advisory board member, and mentor for the new regional networks, as well as for service to the American Physical Society in various educational initiatives. Dr. Enriquez shares her recognition for her work on the PhysTech program with Dr. Chui Kwan, who was recognized by the American Physical Society as Woman Physicist of the Month in February 2017 for her work on the PhysTech program. Dr. Kwan approaches education with a belief that it is the key to upward mobility and advocates for level playing field for everyone, and especially women in physics. Her efforts were recognized in 2010 by the CSULB President's Commission on the Status of Women with an Advancement of Women Award. Since her arrival in 1999, Dr. Kwan has played an important role in improving physics instruction at all levels. She has been a driving force in developing curriculum to support students interested in pursuing a career as physics high school teachers. Her leadership as department chair for two terms in the Department of Physics and Astronomy has led to the national distinction of CSULB graduating some of the highest numbers of physics master's graduates among U.S. comprehensive universities. Dr. Kwan was instrumental in involving CSULB in the national program Get the Facts Out a unique program funded by the National Science Foundation that is designed to reach out to STEM majors and celebrate the positives of teaching by providing students and faculty with facts that address misinformation and common misperceptions about teaching. Because we do have a critical shortage of quality teachers in this country. To together, Dr. Kwan and Dr. Henriquez are recognized as Get the Facts Out champions and have also been recognized by the college with a faculty award for excellence. They have made a difference in our college's teacher education and their synergistic energy together demonstrates that despite mathematical conventions to the contrary, there are times when the sum of the parts are greater than the whole. It is their collaboration with each other throughout their tenure at CSULB that has created infrastructure to increase access and equity for our students. We would not be who we are today without their service. Thank you, Dr. Henriquez and Dr. Kwan. Today's recognition of our graduates' awards carry with them not just acknowledgement of excellence, but also the acknowledgement of excellence despite unforeseen duress. Both Graduate Studies Director Babette Bankin and Associate Dean Barbara Taylor are joining me to call out the names of your peers for their awards. We acknowledge that excellence in the sciences and mathematics is in the accomplishment of all your degrees. Following this ceremony, we encourage you to join your departments and access your grad slides at the grad recognition stages with your family and friends outside the stadium following the ceremony. Today, we read the names of your fellow class of 2022 peers recognized for their distinguished achievements. If you are here in the stadium today, please stand when you hear your name. The graduate dean's list of university scholars and artists recognizes those students who are in the top 1% of the graduate students earning master's degrees. And, oops, and we have four recipients this year from CNSM. 
Paul Fisher, Aaron Kaz Sugimoto, Shinta Tanemis, and Rihanna Bromley. Congratulations. The Richard D. Green Dean's Graduate Scholar Award recognizes two outstanding students in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics earning master's degrees. Our two recipients this year are Arturo Sotomayor and Carrie Ann Kogan. Congratulations. In the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, Completing a master's thesis is a major accomplishment for many of our graduate students. The college recognizes the following outstanding thesis awards. And our six recipients are Parker Richardson, Steve Gillian, Christina Ann Meadows, Ted C. Wan Chang, Christian Arzadi, and Justin Fournier. Congratulations. Our students put in years of intense and difficult work to earn their degrees. Each degree is a significant accomplishment. Each department recognizes an outstanding baccalaureate graduate with the Richard D. Green Dean's Award. The baccalaureates are Alex Wong, Nishi Routh, Anika Gonzalez, Helen Chang, Sierra N. Breyer. Congratulations. In science education, Outstanding student teachers are recognized with the Richard D. Green Dean Award in Student Teaching. Kelsey Boynton. Each department recognizes students within their department for honors. For the class of 2022, graduate and undergraduate departmental honors for biological sciences, Nicole Marie Lopez, Hannah Rabatoy, Elisheba Tate Pulliam. Congratulations. It's still me, sorry. <laughs> Cambria Christine Schwallen. Isabel Mariah McCoy, Taylor Joe Woodruff, Sabina Grace Timothy, Chance Palmer, Abbas Abdullahsan, Alexa Dickey, Tarek El Masari, Ken Yehuk Choi. Congratulations. The class of 2022 graduate and undergraduate departmental honors for chemistry and biochemistry. Patrick Allen, Adam Smith, Vernon Benedicto. Departmental honors. Tina Nguyen, Dana Bo De Boer, Natalie Tran. Congratulations. For, for the class of 2022, graduate and undergraduate departmental honors for geological sciences. Amanda Seckington. Bedig Charcutian, Spencer Horton Cooper, Desire Selena Guzman. Congratulations. 
for the Class of 2022 Graduate and Undergraduate Departmental Honors for Mathematics and Statistics. Basant Shankar, Victoria Lim, Rosita Oi, Chu Lee. Congratulations. Departmental Honors. Tu Tran Tiu Nguyen, Mili Vu Nguyen, Mika Wong, Wendelin Lopez, Andrew Stapleton, Ivy Nguyen, Brandon Davis. Congratulations. The Class of 2022 Graduate and Undergraduate Departmental Honors for Physics and Astronomy. Derek Bergner, Francisco Ramirez, Spencer Halls, Michael Grant Roberts. Congratulations. Departmental Honors in Physics. Michael Carroll, Blake Reed Coford, Matthew Andrew Leon. Congratulations. Class of 2022 Graduate Departmental Honors for Science Education. I don't have any more pages. Mary Marguerite Nowak, Adam Underwood. In addition to these awards of excellence, we acknowledge those of you who expand your student experiences by participating in leadership positions in student governments and student clubs. <laughs> Students who participated in study abroad, service learning, or worked on research with faculty in the laboratory in the field, please stand. Let's give them our applause. <laughs> Students, your time here has trained you to ask questions and to find answers, skills essential to lifelong learning. We have seen problems arise that we never thought would happen this year. You leave us well prepared. We look to you, graduating class of 2022, to build us a brighter future, to make a better world for all, and to pay forward all the positive experiences you've had at the beach. And now, I am pleased to introduce Kurt Brower, president of the CSULB Alumni Council, who will welcome the class of 2022 to the family of CSULB alumni. Thank you, Dean Bennett. It is truly an honor to be here today. As a beach alum and an alumni parent, I have a sense of what it took for all of you to get here. And I want you to know how much I admire you and your families. What you have accomplished is nothing short of extraordinary. And because it's been more than a few years since my own graduation, I can also say with some certainty that your time at the beach has shaped your future in more ways than you could have ever imagined. You don't leave the beach behind just because you're leaving campus. We're here for you. And I hope that you in turn will stay in touch with us and find ways to share your time, talents, and skills with the students who come after you. Now that you are all alumni, I personally invite you to stop by the just completed Anna W. Nye Alumni Center this coming fall. We will celebrate the grand opening of the center during the Founders Day ceremonies at the end of September. Graduates, as you receive your degrees today, you become part of a truly impressive group, the CSULB alumni family, which is more than 355,000 alumni strong. You now will follow in the footsteps of many alumni who have built our communities through their hard work, talent, and services. 
On behalf of CSULB alumni, I would like to congratulate you on this incredible accomplishment. As you move on to the next phase of your lives, I encourage you to stay connected with the beach community. I know you will find it as enjoyable and rewarding as I have. As we like to say, the beach is for life. Thank you, and go beach. I leave you and your guests with some of the distinctions of the beach in the following video. The California State University system, made up of 23 separate campuses, is the nation's largest, most diverse, and most consequential university. The CSU trustees are tasked with overseeing regulations and policies governing this system. We are honored today to host at our ceremony the incredible and accomplished woman who has served as the chair of the CSU Board of Trustees since 2020, Lillian Kimball. She earned her history degree and her Juris Doctor from UCLA. She clerked for the Honorable Harry Pregerson of the U.S. Court of Appeals, Ninth Circuit. She served as legal counsel and business manager of the Center for the Study of Democratic Institutions and took on the role of legal counsel and business manager for Gardell's Associate, a media group, in 2011. She also served as manager of Spanish language authors and publisher relations with Gardell's Associate. We are grateful for her work on the CSU Board of Trustees, where she has been a tireless advocate for education and inclusion. Thank you, Dean, and congratulations, graduates. I'm pleased to be here today on behalf of the California State University Board of Trustees to congratulate the class of 2022. You've persevered to be here today, and the entire board and interim chancellor, Jolene Kester, share our best wishes with you as you celebrate your commencement. You are now joining the California State University class of four million. There are now four million living alumni of the California State University system. One in every 20 Americans with a degree earned it at a California State University. And almost 10% of the four million CSU graduates are beach grads. It's amazing to know, in addition, that one in 10 employees in California is a CSU graduate. And the CSU Alumni Network 
is larger than the population of 23 states. You are part of the force for good, a force changing your world. Congratulations, class of 22. We are so proud of you and look forward to witnessing all the great things you will do. Thank you, Trustee Kimball. I am now honored to introduce our president, Jane Close Connolly. Graduates, their families and friends, faculty, staff, university leadership, Trustee Kimball. When I start thinking about what to say at commencement every year, besides knowing it will be short, the choices are endless because our campus is the source of countless study stories. This year, I've decided to talk about how all of you students, faculty, and staff have been so noteworthy since 2018. With four or more years at the beach, many of you started in an analog world in which only about 7% of our classes were taught remotely. And you've lived through a period when only about 4% of your classes were taught in person. What a turnaround. But yet, here you are because of your resilience and support of family, faculty, and staff at the beach. You may have been in the first wave to come back on campus at about 40% last fall, or this spring when we were about 76% in person. You've seen it all. Thanks for sticking it out with us. I can imagine that there were times when you thought about throwing it all away because your internet didn't work, or that remote classes simply did not engage, or that not coming to campus opened up other possibilities for you. Sticking with us has allowed you to experience, in addition to pandemic-related events, some pretty amazing College of Natural Science and Mathematics beach facts. And these are just a few. CNSM was awarded $2.5 million from the Keck Foundation to increase student early access to research. CNSM faculty and students helped out in the major 2021 Orange County oil spill. Two rare corpse flowers bloomed during this time period. One of the blooms was open to the public where we had hundreds of campus visitors over a 72 hours to experience the bloom. Since 2018, grants brought in by CNSM faculty exceeded $10 million. The pandemic did not shut down the shark lab. Educating beachgoers about sharks, tagging, gathering data, up and down the coast with our researchers and volunteers. Dr. Kagba Sore's work as a founding member of Hasabu Circle, which was started in the summer of 2020 as an intentional response from black mathematics faculty and administrative staff to the dual pandemic of COVID-19 and systemic racism. And these are just a few of the wonderful things that have happened in the last few years since you've been with us. The rest of the university has done pretty well. If you're sports fans, you'll know that there have been two national championships for our men's volleyball team. You may have noticed that six former students and three coaches were, who represented us at the Tokyo Olympics. And our student athletes posted a 91% graduation rate, which was the highest in the Big West and higher than all D1 public universities in California, except for UC Davis. And by the way, your timing is great. As Kurt mentioned, we've just about to open the Anna W. Nye Alumni Center. I hope you'll come by when you visit campus in the fall. Student housing has increased and been improved with renovations and new housing. And just as you came, we were opening up the Sharkarian Family Student Success Center, 
which has provided so many student services in one location, especially our much enhanced Bob Murphy Access Center. And by the way, just yesterday, Money Magazine published a list of the 25 best universities in the country. Guess who's on that list? Cal State Long Beach. I was pretty excited. Cal State Long Beach is ranked number seven in the nation for awarding bachelor's degrees to Latinx students, number 13 in awarding master's degrees to Latinx students. We were ranked in 2021 as the number two master's level university in the nation, but we've recently been promoted from master's level to doctoral level high research intensity. Cal State Long Beach was also ranked in the top 10% of universities that provide the greatest return on investment. And I'm most proud of the fact that we're always in the top five or so of universities that promote social mobility. Of course, I could go on and on about your accomplishments and faculty and staff recognitions. And I share these with you to congratulate you for being part of building this great university. You are all the recipients of or forces behind these accolades. You, like those before you, have been building a better beach for 73 years. And it's been noticed by others as we have the most undergraduate applications among the CSUs and rank about eighth nationally in applications. We've also led the CSU in the improvement of graduation rates. So thank you, academic advisors and faculty. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing magical about a four-year graduation. I'm happy for you to take your own time on your educational journey. I am not happy, however, if we've gotten in your way or ruined your personal timelines. Bar no barriers means that we're always looking to be a support, not a distraction or a delay. While we're not the biggest CSU, we do have the most faculty because we know both students and faculty value close mentoring relationships. We don't have the biggest physical space among CSU campuses, but we do have the most platinum and gold certified lead buildings. Thank you, Beach Building Services. We also send more students to doctoral programs than any other CSU. Thank you, faculty members. You've all done a great job in helping to build a campus where no barriers is a way of life, not just a slogan. So, as you begin your next adventures, remember we're grateful to all of you for supporting the continuous improvement of your university. Students, I pledge that your alma mater will keep innovating as a way to add value to your degrees. We also pledge to be rooted in our values. Diversity is our strength. The public good is our responsibility. Teaching, learning, and discovery are central to who we are and all we do. And finally, compassion, creativity, and innovation characterize our culture. If we can continue to live by those values, you will be proud to call us your alma mater in the same way we're so proud of all that you've already accomplished and all we know you will create for the world. All good wishes for all your next adventures and go beach. Thank you, President Connolly. I am now privileged to introduce one of our newest alumni, your classmate and Student Council President of the Year 2022, Sierra Breyer. Good afternoon. When I first started here at Long Beach, I didn't know if it was the right place for me. I didn't know anybody and I wasn't sure of myself. I felt alone in a big place. But as classes went on, the campus began to feel smaller. I had figured things out and I wasn't getting lost as much. I knew that I wouldn't get lost. I knew that if I was running late and counting on the escalators by the student union, I probably was gonna take the stairs one way or another because they weren't working. 
and I was beginning to make friends. I was beginning to build a community and to grow into myself. And then this pandemic happened and it completely shook all of that and basically put not only me, but a lot of us back at the starting position. All of a sudden, the things we had known about campus and about the Long Beach community were gone. And we all know that the pandemic wasn't fun, a fun time for anyone. I remember personally thinking that this was going to be it. I'd graduate with classes that maybe I learned something in. I'd scrape by with some acquaintances from college. Maybe I'd even find a professor who would be willing to write me a letter of recommendation. I remember counting my losses and coming to the, the conclusion that my education, my college experience was probably going to be a failure, or at least not what I wished it would be. But as it turns out, I underestimated the students, the professors, and the faculty here at CSU Long Beach. Just when I thought I was friendless, I made 15 of the closest friends I had ever had. We would stay up late at night during the pandemic, all stuck in our homes, doing our homework together online, watching Hallmark Christmas movies, not in December, or even just staying up late together because we found out that so many of us had insomnia. We formed new bonds and new communities in spite of this separation. I was even able to find a professor who was willing to research with me and mentor me, and this led to countless opportunities in my education. What I thought was a personal experience throughout this pandemic turned out to be nearly universal. Many people had to put their education on hold, had to take, make all new friends, had to move back home with their families, and had to come up with new ways to learn while at home. We lost connection with some friends and loved ones, but no matter how we struggled, we were all here. We made it, and we should be proud of that. I'm proud of that, and I'm proud of us. When in-person classes started, the school had to rebuild itself. Student clubs that had fallen apart because of the pandemic were reinstated because students cared about the communities that clubs bring. Even our professors and faculty were working to help clubs succeed. I saw professors work hard for outreach and to keep tutoring alive. Well, research while well, reaching out to students to get them involved in campus activities. Dr. Bennett has worked with the student council for several events like Donuts with the Dean and our Nobel Laureate speaker event to keep the student body engaged and excited to be here at Long Beach. For me personally, this school's effort made a difference. They changed how I thought my education was going to go. I was able to succeed more than I thought I would when I was accepted here at CSU Long Beach. With faculty effort and student determination, we are bringing back the beach. Everyone's experience here has been different, especially with the challenges of remote learning. But I'd argue that these things ended up bringing us closer together. Long Beach encourages us to grow. It compels us to make new friendships, to see everything that we can become, and to learn both from our classes and from our experiences. And yes, Long Beach helps us grow, but we, the students, take that initiative and build the community no matter what is in our way. I didn't know about CSU Long Beach at first, but now that I've been here, I know that it is the right place for me, and I know that I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, and I'm so happy to be graduating from CSU Long Beach. I am proud of myself, I am proud of you all, and I know that we all have each other's backs while we go into the next phases of our life. Go Beach. Thank you, Sierra. Dr. Karen Sism gunn is the University Provost and Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs. She will now join us to present our master's candidates to the President for degree conferral. Thank you, Dean Bennett. Good afternoon, Beach family and friends. As your provost and member of the natural sciences and mathematics community, it now gives me great pride to present the candidates for the 2022 master's degree. Will the candidates 
for the 2022 master's degree, please stand if you're able when I call your department name. Biological Sciences. Yay. <laughs> Chemistry and Biochemistry. Geological Sciences. <laughs> Mathematics and Statistics. <laughs> Physics and Astronomy. <laughs> Science Education. <laughs> Would all of our master's candidates please stand? Please stand and remain standing if you're able. All right, here goes. President Connolly, these candidates have satisfactorily completed all of the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty to receive their degrees. Please remain standing. You have been recommended to me by the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and by your Dean and by your distinguished faculty. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of California State University, I confer upon each of you who has fulfilled the requirements of the appropriate master's degree with all rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the class of 2022 bachelor's degrees please stand and remain standing as I read your department's name. Biological Sciences. <laughs> Chemistry and Biochemistry. Environmental Science and Policy. Geological Sciences. Mathematics and Statistics. Physics and Astronomy. President Connolly. These candidates have satisfactorily completed all the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty to receive their degrees. You have been recommended to me by the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, by your Dean, and by your distinguished faculty. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon each of you who has fulfilled the requirements of the appropriate bachelor's degree with all rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Baccalaureate graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left side of your cap. This signifies the end of your undergraduate degree. Congratulations. You may be seated. Let me add my congratulations to all the graduates today. This is indeed a milestone in your life. All of us in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics extend our best wishes to you in your future endeavors and careers. I thank all of you for your attendance today at the 73rd commencement. Graduates, following the recessional, you are invited to meet your guests at the home plate entrance and proceed to your department's graduate recognition stages to find your fellow graduates and your departmental faculty, and most important, have your name announced that you have graduated. Go Beach! Let the recessional begin. <laughs> 